Hello, this is Gail Nettles with Beaded Jewelry Diva, and today we are going to make beaded earring findings. Now, I know I've done an, a video on this in the past, and of course that was mm, a few years ago. <clears throat> and uh, the technology for making videos has gotten better since then, so I thought I'd redo this one. Now, the emphasis on this one is making earrings that match. So they're be beaded earring findings, but they match. And that's sometimes the hardest thing to do when it comes to making your own earring findings, making two that look alike. Well, let's go ahead and get started with this, and I'll catch up with you in a second with the supplies. Here are the supplies that you'll need for this project. You will need two two and a half inch lengths of wire. I'm using 20 gauge silver filled wire. You will need two round beads. These are four millimeter Swarovski crystal pearls. You will need a chain note, or excuse me, a round nose pliers, a chain or flat nose pliers. You'll need a Sharpie marker, a salon board or nail file. You will need a pair of flush cutters, and optional but very, very useful are a pair of stepped loopers. These are medium size, and a glass nail file. This is because it's a whole lot uh, finer than this is and a couple of dangles to make earrings with. So those are the supplies. Let's get on with the project. I've gone ahead and made a loop on this particular ear, um, piece of wire, but let's go ahead and I'll show you what I did on this one. And by the way, I already have flush cut both ends of each of these wires. So I've got my um, round nose plier marked, so a little black mark so I know to make both loops the same size. So I put my round nose plier, wire in the round nose plier, loop it, and then I just go ahead and make a slight bend. So it looks pretty much like this when we're done. And I'll go and tighten up that just a little bit. So we've got two pieces of wire that have a loop on the end. Next we'll go ahead and put the bead on the wires. So bead one, bead two. And I'm doing these both at the same time so you want to go ahead and make your earrings even. And that's the hardest thing about making earring findings sometimes is just going ahead and making sure they're even. Alright, so I'm going to see if you can see this. This side right here, see if I can get a little bit closer, this side right here is where I have the back of the loop of the earring finding. So in other words, it's going to open from this side. Now, just because it's easier for me to do this this way, the loop is back here. I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to push it against the bead and I'm going to bend. So you can see how I've bent the wire. I'm going to bend this just a little bit more to it's about uh, 45 or 50 degree angle. Now I'm going to take the second one and I'm going to do the same thing. So the the loop closes on this side. Push down on my thumb and uh, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at them and make sure that the angle is about the same. I can see this one just is a little tiny bit. Uh, there we go. It was a little tiny bit sharper. So I've got two that pretty much look alike. Now on to the next step where these looper pliers come in very, very handy. What I'm going to do is I'm opening the jaws. I've got the flat part on the bottom. I am putting in the earring finding so it's right up against the flat part. And I'm taking this and I'm looping it around the top. Now I'm only looping it to oh, right about the middle of the top. That's all I want to loop it for. I don't want to loop it all the way around. Not yet. <laughs> so I've got one. Let me go ahead and do the other real quick. 
So now I have two earrings that look like this. And you can see that they're pretty darn similar. Now the next step is what's really going to finalize the shapes. And here comes the Sharpie. And I like the Sharpie better than this for this step because I think the Sharpie has a slightly smaller diameter. And I like that slightly smaller diameter for the ears. So what I'm going to do is I'm just looping this around. So you can see I've just got it around and I'm pushing it. So I'm pushing it closed. I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just holding it on top and then pushing the pieces together. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them on both at the same time. First I want to take a look from the front to see are they about the same and you can see that they look a little crooked and that's okay at the moment because what I'm going to do and here's where the flat nose pliers come in handy is I'm just going to go ahead and straighten them so I'm, I'm putting them in like this and I'm just straightening so that looks better so yeah this one looks fairly wonky flat nose pliers can be your friend <laughs> Okay, put them both on again, and let's take a look at them, and they look pretty even. So you can see that they're, they're pretty even. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close them a little bit more, and check the back. What I want to make sure of is that these ends are pretty even, and look, they are. Yay! Okay. If you want, you can leave these ends really long like this and just loop them up a little bit on the end. Or you can go ahead and cut them a little bit if you like the ends a little bit shorter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take mine and I like mine a little bit on the long side. So I'm just putting it into the flat nose plier and just tipping it up just a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the next one, or the other one, I should say. And so they're pretty much the same now. <laughs> this is how you make a pair of earring findings that look the same. Now to go ahead and put on dangles, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I just open up the back of the earring, back of the loop, put on my dangle, and then close it. Do the same thing with my other one. Open sesame <laughs> and close. And here we go. We have a pair of earrings that are dangling at the same length. <laughs> That's really nice. So there's a pair that look like this. Now let's see if I can find my other ones that I have. So here's another pair that I just did. What I'm going to do now is let me go ahead and find my files and everything and I'll show you how to go ahead and file the ends of these so that they're not sharp when they go through your ears. This is where you're going to be using your salon board. And all I'm doing is I'm taking the end of my um, wire and I'm just rubbing it against the salon board. I think this is like a 180 grit or something like that. Now if you have a, a metal jewelry file, obviously you can use that. Um, I just uh, discovered that I like using these because I can do a back and forth motion, <laughs> which I kept wanting to do on the metal nail file and it just didn't, or the, the metal jewelry file, and that just didn't work too well. So I've got this until it's it's pretty smooth. Now, normally I would do a lot, um, a little bit more if I was doing this um, for real, but for demonstration purposes I just did a little bit. And then this is where this check um, glass nail file comes in. This is a much finer grit than this is, and this will go ahead and really smooth out the the ends. Now I want to say that there are nail glass nail files and then there are glass nail files. The stuff from the Czech Republic is good because the grit is um, 
Um, it's molded into the glass as opposed to some of the other stuff that just has like glass flecks on top. Um, these are these are great, and and I've had these for for a few years even, and they're just as good as when I first bought them. So that's how you go ahead and file the edges. Now because this is a little, I, I used the soft wire because I didn't have any half hard with me or hard. You can see that that it can spring open just a little bit. I'll do another video on how to go ahead and harden wires like for earrings and how to make slightly different um, <clears throat> bottoms for your earrings. Um, some of the different looks that you can get. But for this particular purpose we'll just go ahead and leave it like this. So there we go. There are a couple of different earring findings and or, or earrings. Here's some more findings that I made. These are just with some Swarovski bicones. And I found one of these, but hmm, where'd the other one go? Well, the other ones run off into the <laughs> never never land. <laughs> but you can see that you know I have the four millimeter round glass pearls. We have the four millimeter bicones, and I also have some four millimeter rondelles. So it, it's really great, and that is how you go ahead and make um, earring findings that look all the way the same. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. My name is Gail Nettles once again. I am Beauty Jewelry Diva. I would love to see you at my website, uh, www.beautyjewelrydiva.com. I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't already do so. And I just want to say, have a beady day. Bye.